Hey, this is Nick from Rivet Lab. Let's take a look at the X12P air hydraulic rivet nut tool. The tool supplied in a sturdy plastic carry case. Nice EVA laser cut foam to keep everything in place. Uh, inside the box we've got the tool instruction manual and a set of mandrels and nose pieces which range from M4 through to M12. The X12P has 23 kilonewtons of pulling force, 8 millimetres of stroke and a working range of M4 through to M12 in all materials including stainless steel. Imperial nose assemblies are also available. To change the nose assembly, simply unscrew the nose piece. You can then unscrew the mandrel. To replace, simply do that in reverse. Wind the mandrel back in just so that this hex lines up with the hex on this internal sleeve here. Put the nose piece back on. Wind that on and then tighten up this locking nut. Before we get started, just check your air pressure. We always recommend using a regulator near the point of operation. I've got this set here to 90 PSI at the moment, which is about perfect for a tool like this. Don't exceed 100 PSI or 7 bar. Uh, with the regulator in place locally, we can monitor what's going on with the air pressure. We've also got a water trap here as well, which is just going to keep any moisture out of the tool. So the tool is connected to the compressed air system. Currently nothing's happening. We've actually got a little on-off sliding valve here. Push that forward. And now the tool's in operation. We can switch that off when we're not using the tool and keep it switched off if we're changing nose assemblies as well. Depending on what size rivet nut we're going to be setting, we're going to need to adjust the pulling force of the tool. It's nice and easy here. You've got a gauge on the bottom and also just a dial in the plus or minus direction where you can increase or decrease the pulling force. To see what's going on, just pull the trigger. And in this case, we're running at about 10 kilonewtons. Refer to the manual and adjust that accordingly depending on your rivet nut size or material. To install a rivet nut, just wind your rivet nut about half a turn onto the mandrel, apply a little bit of pressure that will load on automatically via this air motor here. Then next just take your material with an appropriate size hole, we're going to pull the trigger, release and it will auto unwind out of the application. Let's do that again. I'm going to point out the reverse button on the tool as well. This is not something that you're going to use during normal operation. However, if the tool didn't spin all the way out of the rivet nut, you can just press on here and it'll spin right out. So as I mentioned earlier, this tool's got 23 kilonewtons of pulling force. We can set an M12 stainless steel rivet nut with this tool. And it goes into our material, pull the trigger. Job done. At the other end of the scale, we can dial the pressure right back. I've got this set up for an M4 rivet nut. Again, job done. So the tool's got plenty of pulling force, but we can also adjust it back so it's got quite a light touch. Okay, so that wraps up the video on the X12P rivet nut tool. It's a great package for setting a wide range of rivet nuts. Thanks for watching and get in touch with us if you need any more information on this tool. <laughs>